All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere arguments, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear another lesson. I'm just fearing the God of the Bible. Quick, quick little hit through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Lord willing, the elect is edified. That's the beginning of knowledge, so that's the first scripture I'm going to get. I mean, Israel, you got to watch the news. You know, you got to watch the news and see what's going, see what the hell is going on. See, you, you want to get caught up in what the world has to offer, which is nothing. You want you want to watch the news. You want to see that judgment going forth. You see, it keeps you mindful <laughs> of the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son. But let's get this, though. Proverbs 1 and 7. Quick little hit. Through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, once again, Lord willing, the elect is edified. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, the fear. That's that key ingredient, Israel. Fear. Fear. Reverence. You see, of Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, is the beginning of knowledge. But fools, blockheads, meatballs, jackasses despise wisdom and instruction. So, so for every action, there's a reaction. And I want to get a definition for fear. Let's go ahead and just get it right quick. Let's just go ahead and get it. As soon as this phone out, he got some sense. Fear. Let's play it. Let's turn it up some. Fear. Fear. Remember, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, right? Fear is a noun, an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous. Remember, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, 2 Chronicles, 2 Corinthians, Salakia, 2 Corinthians, what is it, 5 and 11? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, someone or something is dangerous. Likely to cause pain or threat, terror. Be afraid of someone or something as likely to be dangerous, painful, or threatening. That's Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, but fools hate a scripture like that. Fools despise a scripture like that. You see? Scriptures tell us, yo, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Let's get it again. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord. Is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. So, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Look, when, when that hammer come down, when that when that hammer come down, and, and, it's, and it's coming down now upon our people. I'm, I'm looking at the news, man. Somebody got shot up on one of them subway trains in New York yesterday. It, it, it's really going down. What is it? Um, 36? 28. Job 28, 28, it's like Job chapter 28, verse 28, and it's a man, he said, Israelite man, woman and child, we go over through these scriptures all the time, pretty much every day, pushing the fear of the Lord, constantly pushing that fear. You see that dread, that reverence. Job 28, 28, and it's a man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord. And we read what the definition was. We'll get it right quick one more time. Just get it one more time. We, we, we're right here. Fear. Fear. The fear of the Lord. An unpleasant, an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous. That's your how about Shem Yahweh Shah all day, likely to cause pain or threat. Be afraid, be very afraid. Be afraid of something, someone or something as likely to be dangerous, painful, or threatening. It, remember, the king of terrors. They, they go one of the definitions for fear, dread. Dread right there. Let's go back. This is um that is is wisdom. The fear of the Lord is wisdom. 
And to depart from evil is understanding. Because remember, he kills, he makes our lives, he wounds, he heals. Let's just get it. But we got to pound these scriptures in your head. That's the only way we're going to learn. That's the only way we learn. Is going over the same scriptures over and over and over and over again, man. That's, that's how we learn. Deuteronomy 32. And 39, and it reads, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me, aka power with me. I kill and I make alive. I mean, those two words right there, those two um, sentences right there should make you want to fear the God of the Bible. He said, I can either kill you or keep you alive. I mean, what, what more do you need to hear, Israel? What, what more do you need to hear? You see, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You hear a scripture like that and you start wilding out. You deserve everything that happens to you. You, you truly do. You, you truly do. All the bad things that come down the pipeline and it, and it falls on your head. You deserve it, man, right? For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to mine enemies and will reward them that hate me. Our people are like just Sometimes, man, you be like, man, they were just, just looking at people on the news. Our people just through, just through. From the old to the young, just, just, just through, all, all of them, through. Every, everybody through. Let's get, a, let's get a couple more scriptures. The Lord said he's bringing all kind of plagues and as a charge of food, man, I mean, every time you turn on the news, they saw them grocery shelves empty, getting more and more empty. But oh yeah, you ain't going to fear the Lord though, right? Let's get this St. Luke 12, 5. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him. Yahweh by Shemi, I will shout, who the evening called God is Jesus Christ, which after he have killed, have power to cast into hell, which a condition played out on earth, meaning slavery. I say unto you, fear him. And, and, that, and that's so plain. I just read this one since I'm looking at it. Psalms 34, 9. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. So while everybody's going crazy and they ain't eating, they just catching pure hell. The Israelites that fear the God of the Bible, you're going to be very well taken care of. The, the scriptures say, the scriptures just say there's no want to those that fear him. You see? Let's see. Psalms 115 and 13. We go through these all the time. That's what it's, it's all about, repetition. You see? It's the father of skills. Psalms 115, 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. And that scripture right there is so plain, but it's so heavy. The God of the Bible is going to bless the Israelites that fear him. You see? Then you say, it ain't no want to those that fear the God of the Bible, that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? Psalms 3, I mean, Proverbs 3 and 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord. And depart from evil. I mean, what, what part of that don't you get? Well, what part don't what part don't you get, man? You see, Jacob show was about to pop off. Martial law about to pop off. Everything about to pop off. Fear the Lord, because there is no want to those that fear the Lord. Psalms one fifteen and eleven. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help. And their shield. You need protection. You need help. Fear the Lord. Psalms 2 and 11. Serve the Lord with fear. And rejoice with trembling. Second Chronicles 19 7. Wherefore now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it. Meaning listen. Hearken. Just, just do it. To the best of your ability. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our power. No respect of persons. 
nor taking of gifts. You can't bribe the Lord off. You can't pay the Lord off. Man. Fear, fear. The Lord's like, yo, just fear me. Just fear me. Let's see. Yep, Psalms 147 and 11. One of my favorite scriptures. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him. See? The Lord taketh pleasure in us fearing him. Look, Sleazy E is about to show up, come in like a flood with great wrath. And the only way you're going to escape that is to fear the Lord. The Lord said he taketh pleasure in those that fear him. Those that hope in his mercy. And we're prisoners of hope. And we're most definitely praying for more mercy, man. We need mercy. With every, it's getting ready to get deadly serious. And look, in the blink of an eye, it's going to get deadly serious. In the blink of an eye, it's going to get deadly serious, Israel. Let's see. In the blink of an eye, it's going to get deadly serious. Let's go here. I'm trying to get some. Scripture say, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Let's get this. So rock 40 and 26, riches and strength lift up the heart, meaning the mind. But the fear of the Lord is above them both. You see, the fear of the Lord is better than having a big giant bag of money or having a, a healthy body. The fear of the Lord is, is above them both. It is there is no want in the fear of the Lord, and it needeth not to seek help. Plain. Listen to this. I gotta blow it up. This is my last one. I'm out. So rock 34, 14. Whoso feareth the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall not be, shall not fear nor be afraid of the incoming of the heathen. These heathens are going to be wrapping up our people like cocoons, man. Straight up and down, man. But the Lord said, Whoso feareth the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. Prisoners of hope, right? And, and the Lord, the Lord is so plain. He made it so plain. The Lord said, you fear me, then you ain't got to worry about fearing the things that I got coming. Everybody else do. You ain't got to, when you fear the Lord, you ain't got to worry about fearing that famine. You ain't got to worry about fearing the race wars, class wars, civil wars, economic woes. You you fear, you fear women out there that fear you, how about Shemiah Shai? You ain't got to worry about um, infamil for your babies. Food for your babies. The men out there that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, you ain't gotta worry about food for your family. You see? You ain't gotta worry about all that. But the Israelites that don't fear, you got everything to worry about. Another lesson on just fearing the Lord. Another shooting at a, at, 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 the, at the mall, convenience store, at the house. I mean, the whole time I've been making this lesson, I'm looking here at the news and all I've been seeing is shootings, shooting after shooting, shooting after shooting, drownings, wars, missiles, the whole shebang. Fear the Lord. Shalom.